The first three words I think of when I think of Ryan Sessegnon are expectation, talented, focused. First three words that I think of when I think about Ian Wright is leader, powerful, goal scorer. He's right. <laughs> It's a massive shot. My first touch of that game went off the pitch. <laughs> they beat us 9-0. This is called the hustle, bro. How old was you when you actually first kicked a football? How old were you? Three. Nah, I'll say when you get your first contract, nine. Because <laughs> you made your debut like when you were 16 and somebody told me a stat that my last game in 2000, you was born like nine days after I played that game. I feel pretty old knowing that, but first person born in the millennium to score. What was that like? Nah, it was, what, what was that like? What was... It was good, but um, so when it went in... Um, like that did <laughs> Yeah. It wasn't until like after the game I realised like, it was a good achievement mm. in terms of my age and when I was born. Can you see a, a, a genuine difference in the quality and the pace and everything? Yeah, I have. When you make a mistake, you get punished. <laughs> so we found that out this season a lot. When you don't take your chances as well, you get punished. When you make a mistake, it's almost every time a goal. I'd say the ruthlessness of the Premier League. When you was like looking to come into the Premier League and you're looking at players, what, what player do you think, oh my gosh, I can't wait to play against him or I don't want to play against him? And I'd say the, the teams and the stadiums that I wanted to play at, Stafford Bridge, Anfield, big, big teams. I, I remember when, um, when we was coming up, I wanted to play against Liverpool more than anything and they beat us 9-0. What? It was, um, it's the yeah, yeah, they beat us 9-0. It was like um, the first time I actually cried on a football pitch. <laughs> what, what, what area did you grow up in? Uh, Roehampton, South Roehampton. West. It's quite, it's quite nice. Is that like the place where they have boats and all that? No. <laughs> you don't have boats in Roehampton? Oh, that's the boat place. So where, do you, where would you play your football? There was a football cage. What was the kind of games you play in the football cage? 10 v 10s, 11 v 11s. Did, how many hours did you play? I remember when we was young, we, we could play football for two and a half hours, three hours straight. I think we done, yeah, more than that probably. <laughs> more than that. Um, all night until you couldn't really see each other. See now, see what I've done there? I've just kind of talked you into a kind of <laughs> full sense of security. Look where your balls are, look where mine are. This is called the hustle, bro. I saw some games last season and you was popping up everywhere. Shot. What's it like now being like a, a young Premier League player with all that Instagram and everything what goes on. I think it depends it on how you are. How much of it do you look at? Obviously you do see it, it pops up. I don't really try to look at people that comment about my game or after a performance. Just try to listen to the people that matter really. What's it like kids see you now? Is it, do you like that? Yeah. yeah, I try to put myself in their shoes. I used to like look up to the to footballers and try to engage with them. So. Mm. When they do it to me, I try to show my respect to them as well. I still feel though, at, at, like at 16, making your debut at 60. <sighs> did you just miss everything there? <laughs> um, so yeah, but you know what I want to find out, Ryan, at 16, because... <laughs> uh, Who was it against? Lee and Orion, away. Away game for your, for your debut? Yeah, in the cup, yeah. And then a week later, you made your league debut? Yes. What was that like? What? Oh man. So what was it? What was the what was the league debut like? Yeah, look, now you're in trouble. It was Leeds away. Jesus, big game. I think my first touch of that game went off the pitch. <laughs> and uh, I think the ball came to me, I tried to control it and it just Went off the pitch like that, and then the Leeds fans were getting on to me. Do you do some thought. skills and go past people and think, yeah? Yeah, I did. I went past a few players and put some balls in and probably should have scored as well. Did you play the whole game? Yeah, I did, yeah. I can't even imagine what it would have been like to play football at 60. That was a good shot. Who was your first goal against, man? Uh, Cardiff. What was the goal like? Because I remember like all my goals, who passed it to me and everything. I think Scott Parker played the ball down the side for Sonny Luca. He chopped one guy, chopped again, and, and I just made a darting one to the penalty box. He cut it back and I hit it with my right foot, but it's like trickled in and just went in. Yeah. It's a boring way for a young man to play, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that two shots? Right, this is a big shot now. It's a massive shot, massive shot.
you, you know, you're playing against a guy who's, you know, six. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> when you're blessed, man, you're blessed. <laughs> Good game. So Ryan, 16, coming into the Premier League, massive reputation, they've kind of like everybody's pinned it on you, you're going to be the next left back for England for many, many years to come. First player, born in the millennium to score. What's your ambitions now, my friend? To make my England debut before the season's finished. This season? Yes. I think 18's a good year to make it, especially seeing players that are my age who have made their yeah. debuts. Sancho has been called up, James Madison, Mason Mount, players that I've played with for England. So. Mm -hmm. I look at that and I just want to be part of that as well. Yeah, what would you say What would you say is, is your biggest sacrifice you've had to, to forego? I would say there was certain friends where I used to live that I had to stop talking to. Were they kind of keeping you out late and trying to go, go out? and? Not even that, just the things that they wanted to do mm. that I knew I couldn't do. Were they saying things like, you're big time, you're giving it the bigger than was it? They used to actually say that I wouldn't, what's the point of me not doing this because you won't make it. You did they say that? Yeah, they did, yeah. They said, you're with us, you're around us, you're not going to achieve what you want to achieve, basically. But obviously I never believed them, obviously, but I just said, okay, if you want to say that, say what you want to say. Did you still see any of those guys? No. So how old was you when you used to play the cage? What did you learn from the cage football? About 11, 12, but playing against bigger players, using my um, speed to get out of trouble. In my head, I used to always think, this is, this is what I want to do in my career, I want to be a footballer. I never thought, maybe four years later, I'd be playing a, a championship game, making my debut for Fulham, stuff like that. So it's gone very quick, very fast, but um, I'm embracing it and I just want to learn and improve as a player. I remember watching you in the championship and I saw you popping up everywhere. That seems to have changed now. Do you mm. like when you were able to pop up everywhere because you could just express yourself? Yeah, I did. Because you saw how many goals were I scored that were like tapping. How many, what's the most you've scored in, this, in the season so far? Yeah, that 16. 16? Yeah. Yeah, for me to do that and then, not, I wouldn't say change the way I play, but be more disciplined mm. in the Premier League is, is um, it's hard to change. In respect of like dressing rooms now, like, we were really loud and punching walls and st do, do people still do that sort of stuff? N not in our change room. <laughs> yeah, do manage, does part. your manager shout? Does your manager no, shout? Not at all actually. Have you had a manager that's been shouting and screaming at you? No. no. You've never had that? He'll just come, come in, really just show us where the errors, where we're going wrong on the screen. Um, if we've conceded a goal, he'll show us how we conceded and just say, like, just... And don't do that again? Yeah, don't do that again, <laughs> really. What's Sherla like in He's, the dressing room? Somebody's, yeah. don't you look across and say, that guy's won the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. I think he's very calm before games, um, but he's always ready before everyone. Is so he has right? his boots on, yeah, ready. He likes to do a few kick-ups in the, in the change room before. The main player I looked at was, was Dennis Burkamp. Mm -hmm. He was the best, he had experience the most. I kind of got into his preparation, because I used to be like one of those shouts and screams and come on, yeah. And then I started to see Dennis and he would look at that, like almost confused. Mm. Dave Seaman. He would literally sit down for the, the whole time, wouldn't say anything, you know what I mean? He's just fixing his gloves. Just... But there's other players that come in, just relax. And Mitro, Mitro don't really Mitro, yeah, yeah. I get the impression that he seems like somebody who's, he looked like he'd be pretty, mm -hmm. like, animated. Yeah, a lot of people think that, but he's actually very calm and relaxed. And... What are you actually working on in training for yourself? For, for myself, crossing, for crossing and finishing. To just put in a dangerous area where someone can attack it and score. I used to have training sessions where I would just use my left foot for the whole training session because it was my weaker foot. The, the best advice I could give is that you cannot work hard enough on, your, on yourself in respect of technique and that. This is what I got from Chris Waddle. I got it from, from Dennis, um, Arsene Wenger, uh, Mark Bright. That is the biggest advice I could give to, give to you. Always train for the next level. This is why I want to wish you all the best for the season. I know it's tough at the moment, but the Premier League's tough, but all the best, bro. Thank you. Love your work.